So I've been beta testing blocks for iPad for a while and today in this video I want to share with you my first impressions and show you what it's like building a website on iPad. So let's switch to the iPad and build a very simple website just to show you what it's like building a website on iPad. And I'm using the two years old iPad Air, the one without the M1 chip and it has the 10.9 inch display and I don't have any keyboard, mouse, pencil or trackpad connected, so it's just an iPad in my hands. And I have been waiting for the iPad version of Vlogs for almost 5 years, and to tell you the secret, about four years ago, I visited the headquarters of Blox developers in England and back then the lead developer, Norm, has showed me a working prototype version of Blox for iPad and at that time I knew that this is going to be a huge deal for iPad ecosystem. Many years later, the dream is almost here and considering what Apple has just showed us during the WWDC, I think now is the perfect time for blogs to finally come to iPad. Now, for years, people, including me, have been asking Apple to bring Final Cut Pro to iPad. But even if Apple does bring it someday, I don't think it will be as big of a deal as blocks for iPad because for video editing we have a very capable LumaFusion app and many others and there is nothing close to blocks when it comes to building custom websites on iPad from scratch all without knowing how to code. So I have been beta testing blocks for iPad for a while now and all I can say that it is very impressive, even for the beta version. And the important thing here is that it is not some kind of extension or accessory to blocks for Mac. It is a fully independent website builder which lets you build a website from start to finish and publish it directly from your iPad. And it also has some very cool features which are not even available on the main Mac version of blogs, like the built-in FTP publishing capability. And this whole process kind of reminds me of evolution of Mac OS X and iOS, because if you remember when Steve Jobs first introduced the iOS, it was called iPhone OS back then, he introduced it as a mobile version of Mac OS X. Now, many years later, Mac OS is still borrowing more and more features from iOS and iPadOS and I think the same can happen to blocks for Mac and iPad. So I will save this project to the iPad and we have three pages, home, about and contact. And honestly, I didn't put enough of time to really make it super beautiful, but this is what you can build on iPad in about 15 minutes. And I think that's very impressive. A little bit later in this video, I will show you what is possible if you invest more time and effort into making it more beautiful. For now, we can go to preview mode to check how our website looks on multiple devices. And when we are happy with what we got, we can export it to files or anywhere we want, like that. 
or we can actually publish it directly from blocks and i have some server here we can add new ones and there are a few protocols available but what i want to do now is save this project and open it on a mac So as you can see, everything we have done on iPad is exactly the same on the Mac version of Blocks as well. And this goes for custom classes, for images, for layout, for everything. And if you want, you can continue to edit your website. For example, let's edit this custom background we have set there. Maybe we can change one of the gradient colors to give it some different look. So let's switch back to iPad because I want to show you what is possible to build on your iPad if you invest more time and effort. So I will create a new page from a page template I created on a Mac version of Blocks, but the same can be created on iPad and we can edit everything we have created on the Mac version in iPad or we can create completely the same design only on iPad all without writing a line of code. 